You have 10,780 pounds of decorative rock delivered to your house and dumped in your driveway. You need to move all of the rock to your backyard and decide to pace yourself by hauling seven wheelbarrows full of rock each hour with each wheelbarrow load holding 55 pounds of rock. The number of pounds of rock to be moved, r of t, after t hours can be modeled by the linear function r of t equals 10,780 minus 385t. The linear function may also be given in sloped intercept form with the form r of t equals negative 385t plus 10,780. These two linear functions are equivalent. Notice how the y-intercept is 10,780 and the slope is negative 385. So if we graph this function on the coordinate plane, it would look like this where the horizontal axis is the time in hours and the vertical axis is the pounds of rock in the driveway. Notice as t increases, the number of pounds of rock in the driveway decreases, therefore we have a decreasing linear function. We're first asked to find the vertical intercept as an ordered pair and then express the meaning of the vertical intercept. To find the vertical intercept, or in this case the r of t intercept, we set the input variable equal to zero, meaning we find r of zero. If our linear equation is in terms of x and y, we would set the input variable x equal to zero and solve for y. But in our case, we want to find r of zero, so we'll substitute zero for t. Notice how r of zero is 10,780. So as an ordered pair, the vertical intercept would be the point zero comma 10,780. If we go back to our graph just for a moment, we found this point right here. Which means at zero hours, since t is zero, you have 10,780 pounds of rock in your driveway. Next we're asked to find the horizontal intercept, again as an ordered pair, and then to express the meaning of the horizontal intercept. To find the horizontal intercept, or in this case the t-intercept, we set the function value, or r of t equal to zero, and solve for the input variable t. Or again, if the equation is in terms of x and y, we set y equal to zero and solve for x. So in this case, we'll set r of t equal to zero, which remember represents the pounds of rock in the driveway. Let's go ahead and add 385t to both sides, which would give us 385t equals 10,780. Divide both sides by 385. Ten thousand seven hundred eighty divided by three hundred eighty-five is equal to twenty-eight. Which means the horizontal intercept would be the point twenty-eight comma zero. So going back to the graph just for a moment, we just found this point here. Notice after twenty-eight hours, there are zero pounds of rock in the driveway. Which takes us to the second part of our question. Again, after 28 hours, you have zero pounds of rock in your driveway, which means at this pace, it would take you 28 hours to haul all of the rock from your driveway to the backyard. Next, we're asked to find r of seven, again, as an ordered pair, and also to express the meaning. So to find r of seven, we would substitute seven for t, so we'd have 10,780 minus 385 times seven, which would be 10,780 minus 2,695, which would give us 8,085. So as an ordered pair, the input variable or t is equal to seven, and the function value or the output is 8,085 which means after seven hours, you have 8,085 pounds 
of rock in your driveway. And now for the last part, we're asked to find the practical domain and practical range of our function. Remember the domain is a set of all possible inputs. In this case it would be t or time and hours. If we go back to our graph just for a moment, notice how the practical values of t along the horizontal axis would be the closed interval from zero to twenty-eight hours. And then the practical range, or all possible practical outputs, again going back to the graph just for a moment, looking at the vertical axis, notice how it would be from zero all the way to the maximum amount of rock in the driveway, which is the y-intercept of 10,780. So the range would be the closed interval from zero to 10,780. And that's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.